Hi and welcome back to Mystery Systems. Today I will be showing you how you can actually use the OSI model in network troubleshooting in real life. So we will discuss how you can do this on the physical layer, the data link layer, and the network layer, and the transport layer. The last three layers I won't be discussing in this video, but it's a session layer, a presentation layer, and an application layer. But if you want to know more about those layers, maybe you can find other information on the internet or on some other YouTube videos. I won't be going through them in this video. Well, to start off with, the physical layer, if you want to troubleshoot on this layer, this is where all the cables of networking is. So it could be fiber cables, RJ45, Ethernet cables. It can be your network cards. It could be a Wi-Fi card or a cable. RJ45 cable, network interface card. The data link layer is where your frames are situated. So this would mean that it's MAC addresses that you work with and switch configuration. The second last layer that we will discuss in this video is the network layer, which is where the packets are. The IP addresses is on this layer and router configuration. At the last layer that we will be discussing is the transport layer. This is where all the transport happens. And this is what you define in your firewall configuration. So it's TCP, UDP, port numbers to things that you would like to access or do not access. Well, now I'll be showing you how you can actually use this OSI model for troubleshooting a problem. Let's say that we have this client that is named Steve. Steve has told the IT department that he cannot access the internet. Then you will start from the bottom. You will check about problems at the physical layer, this data link layer afterwards, and the second last network layer, and the lastly, transport layer. Let's go right into it. Well, to start off, we will use the physical layer to check for problems why Steve cannot access. We will be looking at the cables that go to Steve. It could be that Steve has a cable that does not work. Maybe it is faulty and has maybe just gone bad. Second, we could check Steve's network card. Is it faulty? Does that network card work for whatever thing he is actually accessing the internet with? Is he using his Wi-Fi card, network card? Or the cable card. If you don't find any problems there, then we will seek up at the data thing layer. Maybe Steve has an interface on the switch that is misconfigured. It could be that this interface that he is connected with has a misconfigured VLAN. It can be just overall misconfiguration in the switch. That's the next place that you would seek of problems. If you still haven't found the problem why Steve has not gotten access to the internet, then you got to check at the network layer as the next thing. Here we can go into this router and see if the router has the right information that it needs to push out to Steve. Maybe someone has made a typo, a failure when they put in the network that Steve has to be within or as I said earlier in the switch overall routing configuration that has been misconfigured that needs to be taken a closer look at to figure out if this is where the problem is situated. Lastly you can try to see in the routers firewall rules if something has been configured wrong there as well and check the overall firewall rules. Maybe the rule for him to be permitted out to the internet hasn't even been made yet. And it could be as well that you just bought a new router, but this router has a deny all, which just means that it won't route anything unless you specifically have told it the firewall within the router to do things. This was just a brief of how you can use the OSI model. There are many different network and connectivity problems out 
in the real world and just overall problems that you can solve by using the model with these four layers to figure out what the main issue is as I did in this video regarding Steve could not getting access to the internet of course I can't recover every problem because every IT network problem is different so it could be different in your case than my case and mine was just an example but I still hope that this has helped and uh, I hope to see you in my next video as well. Bye.